Hello and welcome to this first video. In this video, we're going to go through what your fertile window is and how it's going to help you identify when you are most fertile and likely to become pregnant. So the fertility awareness method is also known as FAM or it's also known as fertility charting and it's going to help you identify your fertile window. Now your fertile window is the days in your cycle when conception is possible, when you're most likely to become pregnant. You're going to learn how to identify your fertile window by observing your body's natural fertility signals. And it's really cool. Your body sends you all these messages about whether you're fertile or infertile, and you're going to learn how to read these. Now in each cycle, there are just a few days that make up your fertile window and charting your fertility signs is going to help you identify your fertile window so that you can time intercourse to coincide with that window and become pregnant. Now, couples who are aware of their fertile window and who time intercourse during this time frame have been found to have much higher conception rates than couples who are unaware of their most fertile time and who are just having intercourse perhaps randomly. Now, you may have been told that you ovulate or are most fertile on day 14 of your menstrual cycle or perhaps mid cycle or you may have even been told 14 days before your period is expected and that's when you're most fertile. Now these assumptions are based on broad averages and they may not be true for you even if your cycles are regular and your cycles are 28 days. So this is where I think a lot of women go wrong. They assume day 14 is when they're fertile and that's when they're having intercourse. Now they may be ovulating much earlier at around say day six or seven or much later at around say day 21, 22. Now if they're not having intercourse during that time when ovulation is occurring, there won't be a pregnancy. Now, fertility charting involves observing and recording your body's natural fertility signs so that you can see your daily fertility status and identify your fertile window. Now, charting your fertility is highly effective because your body provides these really cool clues or fertility signs that tell you about your fertility status throughout your cycle. Now, the primary fertility signs that you're going to learn about are number one, your basal body temperature, which is going to rise after you ovulate. So after you've ovulated, you are going to be able to track your basal body temperature. If it rises, then it confirms that you have ovulated in that cycle. And number two is your cervical fluid. It's also sometimes called cervical mucus, which becomes increasingly wet, clear and stretchy like egg white as your ovulation approaches. The days when conception or becoming pregnant is possible are the days just before and on the day that you ovulate. Now, based on the maximum lifespan of human sperm and egg, sperm live for up to five days and your egg for up to one day or 24 hours. This fertile window is therefore at most six days days in your cycle. And this is comprised of the five days before you ovulate and the day of ovulation. Now, though pregnancy is technically possible during this entire six day window, most pregnancies occur due to intercourse within two days before ovulation up to the day of ovulation. So you want to be timing intercourse to occur within those two days before you ovulate and the day of ovulation. So this makes for a fertile window of just three days of each cycle. That's the two days before you ovulate and the day of ovulation itself. So you can see three days you can become pregnant. You really want to be making sure that you hit that window and that you get the sperm ready to fertilize that egg because it's a very small window of, of opportunity. 
Now your own fertility pattern and chart will be unique to you. Charting your fertility is going to help you identify your unique pattern and find the days in your cycle that are your fertile window and when you are most likely to become pregnant. Now to maximize your conception chances, it is recommended that you have intercourse every day or at least every other day during your fertile window until you see a clear and sustained thermal shift. That is, you see your basal body temperature rise, which confirms that you have ovulated and you need to see this on your chart. Thank you for listening and bye for now.